Hey everybody, it's Boo1775 back with part 4 of our Let's Play MLB Power Pro 2008 Success Mode Starring Miguel Estrada Alright, so now that we're champions of the league Let us... Oh yeah, I want to show you guys something first So like, my character's name is Estrada And so if you go to the system Sound settings and search, like I already did this, but you can search your last player's name, so if you search for like Estrada or just S E S T R, it'll show all the names that come off with that or whatever. And so Estrada is one of the names that the game has saved or whatever, so if you hit OK, then now the announcer will pronounce your guys' name. So as you can see, we are clear of double A. And so now we've got all that taken care of. Let's get our stamina to D and go work for Jaw. Alright, we've got one week, he says. Alright, didn't find them. Didn't find them. There he is. Alright, she gives us a power in, which just boosts your vitality a little. Alright, apparently there's this triple A pitcher named Gil, and he's supposed to be good. So, we got a surprise bag before, so if you click on it, we got a focus stone. Which gives us plus one technique points and plus two vitality, which isn't really worth much, and I don't want to waste vitality, so I'm going to discard it. And then we'll save that power in for... A rainy day. Alright, now let's do. Um, let's get our stamina up with weight. Coach, you build it too. Let's get it to 70. And then. Let's go to the hot dog shop and work. Alright, so we find this kid. He looks like Marvin, kinda. And Marvin's our friend. If you couldn't tell. So you can pick, uh, ask him about his kid or ask him about his brother. And so pretty much he said, Marvin says, I don't have a kid. And you're like, dude, he's right there. And he's like, he looks just like you. And the kid's like, Papa? And Marvin's like, what? And Marvin's like, Estrada, stop joking. And he's like, and then our character is like, maybe he really does have a kid. And we just get energy mentality. Alright, so. You can go to the vicinage with Lucy, lake, or steak. I'm gonna go to the steak to show you guys what that is. Alright, so this is the steak lady. Go there, you work. Alright, so. Not only do you get money for working there, but your stamina also goes up. Which is a big thing. And if you make a hitter, then your power goes up. Alright, so let's take Lucy out. Let's pop into the shopping mall. We haven't done that yet. On this fancy dress, how does it look? It looks good on you. Really? I'll buy it then. Go for it. I don't want to pay for that. Plus two. Okay. And Frank, we need him at the grocery store. And Frank's gonna take us over and cook us gross ball, which is his octopus. Alright, so he cooks this gross ball, 20 vitality, baseball sense improve. What that means is, baseball sense improve, is that it's cheaper stuff, so you don't have to have as many technique points to boost your control. So that's what that is. Let's do fielding, because that gives you a lot of technique too. Alright, so we're running to Marvin, and he wants us to go to the mountain, so why not? Alright, we're looking at city lights, we get up there, and we get motivation, strength, and mentality. Alright, a scout from the Major League came to see us, and he says that if our performance is good enough, he's going to promote us up into AAA. Alright, so let's go back to the stake, lady. 
and she says we came in a good time and she wants us to taste something. So I like to just go in order. So first there's new habanero pepper steak. Alright, so he tries it. He's like, oh, it tastes great. The hotness goes good with the juicy. The steak rocks. And she's like, you really think so? He's like, yeah. And the more you chew, the tastier it gets. He's like, I'm sure it'll be a big hit. And then the hotness hits him. And it's really hot. Again. So we get money and choke artist, which means that we don't pitch well to close out games. So that's an easy fix. So we are no longer a choke artist. So that didn't last long. Alright, let's go out with Lucy again. Try to get her likability way up. And go to the park. Alright, there's some kids. We're going to play baseball. And Lucy hits a home run. Yay, Lucy. And they say they're going to practice together. But you can fess up to Lucy and say you really like her. or But probably don't do that until you have her likability really high. So don't say anything. Because our likability is only like halfway. So we've got to get that up higher before we say something. So let's go back to Sitch. And this is the final challenge where you get the Sitch pitch. That's what I call it. The original pitch. Alright. He's going to use the alter ego trick and we have to throw a shuriken at him. A ninja star. So he's hiding on the right. You pick right. You hit him with a ninja star, but he disappears, and he changes into the tree, or hides in the tree. He's like, well, he saw through the trick, so I'll give you it. So you can pick a slider, curveball, forkball, sinker, sinking, fastball. Since we already have a slider and curve pitch, we're going to go with a forkball. And you can make it sharply rising, which doesn't really do much. More edge makes it faster, and drop more sudden. Change is slower. I guess slower is slower too, I'm not sure what changes. And a pitch that breaks more, it just breaks more. So we're gonna go more of an edge. And so he teaches us a new pitch, and we get to name it. So let's name it the. I don't know. Let's call it a drop ball. Not very creative, I know. So we learned how to throw a dot, drop ball, and got a little bit of points there too. Alright, so Marvin comes in and he says they sell a mysterious stone on the internet. And there's one in stock, and it's a bunch of money, so we can't afford it. So we click it, and it's sold out. And so we move motivation and strength. So let's boost top speed. We need technique points. But not now. Let's go back to the steak. Alright, she wants us to go shopping for beef. And it doesn't matter what you pick, because you go with there anyway. So if you say sure. And she says we have to catch it with our bare hands. Alright, here's the scout. And we have a test. We need to get 10 points or more. So if you say, I can do better than that, you have to strike out Marvin. If you say, not today, I don't know what happens. You probably don't do anything. And if you say yes I do, you do his test. I will say yes I do, because that's a safe pick. Because all I have to do is pitch it into the box. But if you say I can do better than that, and Marvin gets a hit off of you, and then you lose eval. So, don't want to do that. And you get more points for getting a breaking ball into the box. Alright, so this is our new drop ball. So all you gotta do here is pitch it into the yellow box, as you probably can tell by now. And you gotta get 10 points, and up on the top left it tells you how many points we have, and how many pitches left. Alright, so as you can see the box is getting smaller now, and we got it in there still, so, and passed. So now it doesn't really matter what you do. As you can see it starts moving around crazy like. Ooh. So 
we did pretty good on that test. So, not a very eventful episode, but we got stuff done. So, Scotty Val by 5 motivation. Got a little bit of that points. And, boost our control. And we're gonna have to stop there for today. So, hope you join us again next time for part 5 of Miguel Estrada's journey through the minor leagues. So, see you next time.